How much longer are you going to stay with us? Now, if you were watching <laughs> Neighbours last night, you'll have seen poor Helen suffering some very tense moments. It turns out she had every good reason. Hello, police, please. Yes, this is Helen Daniels of 26 Ramsey Street. I, I want to report my granddaughter missing. You better know that people will be looking for me. Then perhaps you should phone them. Tell them not to worry. I can. Tell them you're having dinner with a friend. Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I trust you after what you did to me? It doesn't matter who's looking for you because they won't find you. At least not tonight. Whether they find you ever depends on your behaviour. I suggest we eat. I'm not hungry. What did I just say about behaviour? Scary, isn't it? Ooh, it's very really? scary. What you know, a I Christmas knew that he was going to be. Oh. I knew he was going to be dodgy that He's night. So the minute mad, that one. I, the yes. shoes, gave those right. shoes. Did you get the clue, the yeah. shoes. Yeah. Those what, shoes, shoes were so dodgy. <laughs> what shoes? They were like, <laughs> I think they're called correspondents. Yeah. They're sort of mix yeah. and match team yeah. and feature Wolf boots. Shoes on. Yeah, it's a good Christmas storyline, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, you're going to yes. keep this strung out till Christmas. Got another month. He's going to yeah. shove her on top of the tree with that frock on. That's it. <laughs> I know, on top of Kylie's tree. <laughs> That'll be it. There's loads Very nice and, uh, to see you both again. Thank loads you. and Thank loads you. of questions, so we'll start straight away. Okay. And there's a question from Nikki. That's yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you pre presenting going live anymore? Um, well, that's a tough one, isn't it? Everyone sits looking for... <laughs> it's, um, I have a little bit of trouble with the Department of Employment at the moment, um, but it's still sort of going through the channels, so unfortunately I can't do it at the moment. Do you think, you know, you're in the there. future, or <laughs> is it looking um, like... I certainly hope so. I mean, there are a, a lot of people unemployed in this country, and I can understand how they feel, but, you know, really. It's just, just a bit of fun. fun. <laughs> it's just you're bit doing your panto, aren't you? I am and doing we'll panto. Take it from there. Yes, and right. uh, that's Leicester to Montford Hall. <laughs> Be there. Good. Well, we, we, we hope that manages to get itself sorted out. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Maybe they'll be lenient with us. And we haven't even got the cutout now, have we? No, even the cutout. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's going yes. to the live line now. Let's see who's on the phones now. Let's go to line one. Who's there? Hello, it's Laura Hughes. Laura Hughes. Hello, Laura. Good morning How to you? you. What's your question? Hello, Laura. Um, my question is to Lucy. Um, what would your advice be for someone in your situation um, when, you know, she's kidnapped and everything? Can you say... What was that? Did what you, would, what advice would your advice be, be? I to someone who's, who's kidnapped? Um, well, my advice would be don't talk to strangers. <laughs> And be careful. And if you end up in a situ situation like that, it's best to try and go along with what they want and um, try, try to call the police. Yeah, I guess. Try but you've and... got to watch out for those people with the dodgy shoes as well. <laughs> I think that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> well, I don't know actually. Sitting right here and looking at some shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe prevention is better than cure. Yes. Make sure that you don't put yeah, yourself in that Yeah, make sure you don't get into that in situation. Place. And if you go out, always go out in a group of friends um, and Tell don't people wander where you're off going. places. Yeah, and. Um, Go Just be friends. very careful and don't talk to people you don't know, really. Yeah. I think that's it. Sensible that advice. Thank very you very much. Advice. Thomas. Bye, Laura. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Come down here. Um, what, do you think of the soap, what do you think of the soaps in Great Britain? Um, I quite like them. I'm a big fan of El Dorado. I love El Dorado. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. And there are others, though, that you can mention. Um, I love The Bill. That's one of my favourite shows. And I don't necessarily classify that as a soap opera, no, more of a drama, be. but I do love The Bill. Like Brookside? Wonderful. Um, I, I haven't I seen it really. Say yes, yes say I do. Say yes. I yeah. especially and like your episode. <laughs> and, and Coronation Street. Coronation Street. I like Street. Casualty yeah. too. Do you like Coronation Street? Yes. Yeah. Did you see Glass Casualty you when they had the, when they had the tennis racket sticking out of that oh, girl's yeah. neck? <gasps> I'm <Great>. still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary business. <laughs> Let's go back to the phones and see who is on line two. Who's there? Hi, it's Jamie. Jamie, Jamie Hutchinson. Yeah. What's um, your What's your question? It's really for both of them. Yeah. Is there anyone you'd like to screen kiss? Oh, Ooh. anyone you'd like to screen kiss? <gasps> screen kiss, did you say? Or test? Test. Screen, test. screen kiss. Snog. Yeah. Snog on the box. Have yeah. a snog. Yeah, OK. Fair <laughs> snog. Now we understand. Okay, let's get snog on down. the box. Who would you like to screen kiss, Kristen? Well, I did not necessarily screen kiss, but kiss oh. Michelle Pfeiffer, oh. I think, would be oh. nice. What do you think? Doesn't you not fussed about it being on the telly just as so long as you get the it's opportunity? It's just as long, you know. I don't really I would love to kiss Rob Lowe. I think that would be... Well, no, Jason Priestley. 
<laughs> hang on, hang on, I've got the hair. I'll just get the wrinkles. Hang on. Okay. Oh, that looks really good. Mean. I've got the hair, just get the wrinkles. No, that's, you know, he has those lines on his head. Yes. <laughs> Very yes. gorgeous. So there you are. Melissa likes them. <laughs> Thank you very much. your question. And, Bye. Um, and Bye. Peter. Peter, oh, Peter. where's Peter? No, no. How long do you think Neighbours will be running for? Do you see it never ending? Oh, um, it's been running now for... Seven years now? Eight years now, I think. Eight years? Yeah. Really? So I think it'll never end. I think it'll go on for a while. It's still getting figures of something like 18 million viewers an episode, which is like a lot of people, so I think it'll go on for a watching. while. And of course they've still got to find Harold, haven't they, really? Where is Harold? <laughs> well, everyone says to me... Oh, actually fell. <laughs> well, I'm I think you'll find he's not going to turn no, up. Oh, you never oh, know. Well, he was one of my favourites and I'm still know. hoping he's going to come Everyone out of comes shower. up to me and they say, Oh, it was sad when Harold died. But he's not dead. He's he still might alive. Come back. I think we, he swam to Hong Kong, actually. I think <laughs> he could be in Hong Kong. Cause... Are you giving away a bit of plot here? You're not sworn to secrecy on this. I think we're well, making our own plot up here. <laughs> we've lost the plot, basically. <laughs> you, have lost the plot. you have lost the plot. Let's go back to the phones. He's probably swum to some... Who's on line pantomime. three? Rachel Dunstan. <laughs> Rachel Dunstan. And what's your question? How long does it take to learn a script? It sort of question. depends on how much you've got, really. How, how, how do we learn the script? Yeah, how do we? How learn long it? do you take? Great also. difficulty. Oh, no, it's pretty. Oh, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to um, remember oh, lines, to really. But um, yeah, it's a lot of sitting down, a lot of hours after after we finish filming, <laughs> going over and over. By yourself or with a friend? Um, I find. Well, at first I couldn't do it by myself. And now I can. I'm so do you, do you end up working sort of with a in a system um, that, that you you know you make sure that you spend a certain amount of time doing it? You do it all the time, time the every spit. Don't you think mm. we're sitting around the green room? We often run lines with people. There's, there's a lot of script to learn. We do two and a half hours of television a week, which is an awful lot of television. Yeah. Um, I learn it parrot fashion, so I, I just go over and over um, my lines. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's, like, bye. a, it's bye. like a movie a week, isn't it? It's just well, learning you a know, movie. more than a movie yeah, a week. Yeah, it is. It's just a lot. It's a lot, a lot of stuff. OK, thank you very much indeed for that. And uh, Kirsty. Melissa, you wanted to be a model in, as Lucy. Would you ever consider being a model in real life? Well, actually, when I was young, I did a little bit of modelling. Way back Catwalk. When? Way back then. <laughs> in the good old days. No, I did a little bit of modelling, actually. She used to do beauty um, contests. Everything. Yes. You back in Australia. I won Miss Teen Australia when I was a teenager. And Miss, Miss Fashion America? or what Miss did you? Photogenic America. Here we go. <laughs> but you're not American. Sorry? Oh, are you? It was a world No, oh, it was no. A whole I world. went over there to compete and oh, I won Miss Photogenic International. But um, I did a little bit of modelling commercials and catwalk and a bit of photographic stuff, but yeah, I'm happy doing TV and, and whatever comes up. And Panto. Yes. Let's go back to the phones and see okay. who's on line four. Hello? Heather. Hello, Heather. Hello. How Hello. are you? All right. Hello. What's your, what's your question? It's a question. Did you want your hair cut or did you have to have it cut? Ah. <laughs> I'm glad you asked Heather. Tell us. <laughs> it was, um, I actually wanted to get it cut because I was bored, but my mum has just arrived. She arrived yesterday into the country and she doesn't like it. So I'm really sad today. She liked it long. Mm. She liked it long, yeah. But I decided, I was bored and I decided, why not get it cut? <laughs> did it not break your heart when you were sitting there in the chair and you could hear there it? There was this noise, yes, when, when, they, when they cut the hair, cut. it went... <laughs> Oh, oh. It was dreadful. that lovely ponytail dropped on the floor. I'll and have to bring it snatched away by Lombard, the wig maker at the BBC. I'll, I'll have to send you in. I got some photos of before, during, and after. So I'm not allowed to actually be on the show, but I'll send the photos in anyway. Okay, please okay. do. Maybe you Thank could come you. on as be a, a hair guest, <laughs> and then you'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> a weekly hair guest. Yeah, a weekly <laughs> hair guest. <laughs> um, I think we've got time for just one more, Joanne. If you were to act out a different character in Neighbours, who would you like to be? Um, who's that directed to? Both to both of us? Yes. Oh, who would I like to play? Um, I think I'd like to play Gran. Gran, yes. <laughs> I love Gran. Gran's my favourite. <laughs> Gran. Yes, who's Helen? Yes. What about, anyone want to be Faye? No, we definitely don't want to be Faye. Faye. Well, I said, the dresses wouldn't fit me, I don't think. <laughs> but my favourite character is Bouncer, because he's always, he's, isn't he oh, the best? Oh, Bouncer! Isn't he the <laughs> one? Well, no, I mean, this but is Bouncer's all... always there to save the yeah. day. And he's like the He's hero. always around. He's the friendly neighbour dog. <laughs> he saved the Mangles' house from fire and disaster. So. 
It's, it's a worry, isn't it's it? It's like, well, I think they're living the part, and it is a worry. <laughs> We're living the part. They're thousands of miles away, years away from it. In fact, light years away. I ate Still some of I ate some of that cod fish and the real with the real. And it's just oh, it's thrown me into a bloodstream now. Yeah, Your good. hair will go quickly again. That's yeah. the thing. <laughs> I do eat that. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you very much indeed for uh, for joining us. Thank you. It's Best nice of luck in Panto, both. Thank, thank you. you. Best of luck. Excellent. We'll be back with you, of course, next week when we shall be welcoming Marky Mark. We'll be back with his underpants on the outside with his trousers again, I expect. There's yes, also we'll um, Macho Man Randy Savage, <laughs> who will uh, who'll be Sorry? in the studio. Huh? Macho Man Randy Savage. And Emma Forbes is coming in as well, isn't yes. she? As well, yeah. she'll be cooking. It's a complete diversion. Yes, yes um, sort of muscle-making food. Christmassy stuff, we yes. believe. Sort of yes. early Christmas food. Ian and Dot from EastEnders, they'll be here. Sweetheart, Woo! sweetheart. They all say sweetheart all the time, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> and there's also, uh, there's also music uh, from Fresh as well. So whatever you do, don't miss the program Happy next week. Birthday Here we go. To you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christian. Happy birthday to you. Another round. 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 Oh, good. What a Oh, thank you. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'll open, I'll open. Is it okay? I know it's it. Oh, yeah.